MMASucka.com here with SFL Bantamweight Women's Champion Colleen Schneider. How does it feel to hold the belt? Uh, pretty awesome. For the second time? Yeah, okay, so the first time I won the SFL belt, <laughs> this is in India. I fought for them three times in India. The third time I fought for the championship, won the belt. They gave me the belt, took a bunch of pictures, and then they go, okay, we need the belt back. You don't get to keep it. Do you get to so keep now, this one? Yes, I get to keep this belt. They messed with me for a minute and told me they were going to take it back. But uh, I actually get to keep this belt, so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> so they, they said it was for the first ever <laughs> SFL, <laughs> SFL America yeah, belt. So America. are you going to ask for the SFL India belt? I, I don't think that's going to get me very far. I'll just, uh, I'll just keep my SFL America belt for a while. <laughs> you looked extremely amazing out there in the cage. Um, was she extremely amazing? Um, was she what you expected in the fight? Did she bring it the way you thought she was, or yeah, was so it something else? No, no, no. I, so I knew she was a boxer, so her style was like I expected, and she had a really good record, and her only loss is to Rin Nakai, who's super, super tough. She just had her first loss ever to Misha Tate. So I, I expected her style to be like it was, and I also expected her to be, you know, pretty strong and, and tough. You know, she was easy. I could turn her how I wanted and take her down. Um, you know, I felt pretty comfortable taking her down, but... Like that, I had that armbar in pretty tight on her, and she wasn't tapping to that. She fought through it, so you know she took some she took some solid shots on the ground. So, so she was tough. Yeah, you know, I, I really wanted the finish, but it was also um, that's the first time I've gone a full five rounds. When I won my title fight before, I finished it in the third. So, I um, I feel good knowing that I can go five rounds and fight five rounds. Now we saw some flashy kicks out of you, some spinning shit, as Nick Diaz would say. Spinning shit. Um, is that something that you use in your arsenal often? Um. Well, when I get into street fights, I like to throw spin hook kicks. I find it very effective. People just run away. Uh, no, I did uh, I did Taekwondo for a long time. Uh, I, I did Taekwondo competitively through college for Berkeley. Um, so that was my that was my transition point into MMA. So I feel very comfortable throwing jump spin back kicks, spin hook kicks. I threw a you know a lead leg um, hook kick on her. So yeah, that's a that's something that I'm comfortable with, and I'm just you know for me it's a matter of working that seamlessly into everything else I do in MMA. Okay. So you were featured on The Ultimate Fighter coming into the show. Unfortunately, the loss to Shayna Baszler. You are now, you are now on a five-fight win streak. No, I, I, w I won five fights, and then I lost my last fight. Okay. So I've won six of my last fights. So Sure Dog is wrong, I guess, because they have you with a five-fight winning streak, or Wikipedia does, one or the other. One of them. So six of your last seven. What's next for you? Uh, I believe SFL wants to do, uh, Raj told me they want to do 10 to 12 fights a year, and I'm actually really happy with this promotion. I think the show is very well run, happy with the Washington Athletic Commission, so I'll come back up here and fight for these guys. Is uh, India in your, like, would you go over back to India to fight for them, or are they keeping the Americans on the American cards My now? My understanding is that they're keeping India as a local show. Um, and India was a cool experience, but I've been there three times. I'm kind of... I'm good on India. Um, I do know they're interested in opening up other markets like Dubai and some other places. I would love to go fight in Dubai or you know somewhere else. Um, but whatever, whatever they want, you know. I, like, being able to travel and like it's awesome to be able to do this period. Then being able sure. to travel cool places and do this is even better. Like uh, Victor Henry's last fight was in Japan, so I got to go help corner him in Tokyo, and that was such an amazing experience. So I would love to fight there. But they're all kind of small, so. You know. <laughs> Congratulations on the big victory. Uh, any shout-outs? Uh, just huge thanks to CSW, Josh Burnett, Eric Paulson, uh, Victor Henry, all my other training partners, everyone who's helped me out for this. It's been a great camp. Congrats. Thank you, sir. Awesome job out there. Are you guys? We're based out of. Uh,